What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about nerfs coming to the blue CP tree. So the warfare CP tree in the Elder Scrolls Online with update 34. Now, of course, I play here on console, so I've been trying to keep a, a close watch on everything going on on the public test server now that it is live on PC. And there's a lot of players in the community on the PC side talking about how this was a big nerf and this is going to really affect damage. I don't know if it's really going to affect it that much. The nerf is not that massive, but I just want all of you to know there is a nerf coming to a lot of those blue slottables. So things like Biting Aurora, Deadly Aim, Duelist Rebuff, Enduring Resolve, Ironclad, Master Arms, Thermitage, and so on. So they rebalance the numbers and progression of numbers of nodes. So the following nodes now grant 3% to their listed bonus per stage with two stages at 25 points per stage rather than 2% with five stages at 10 points per stage. So roughly a 4% nerf to those specific slottables. Uh, things like Backstabber, the node now grants 2% critical damage uh, per stage down from 3%. Uh, fighting Finesse, the node now grants 4% critical damage and healing per stage with two stages at 25% uh, per stage rather than 2% critical damage and healing with five stages at 10 uh, points per stage. So you kind of can understand what they're doing here. They're knocking off a few of the stages. Yes, it sounds like it's a bigger number, but when you look at it, like I said, everything's pretty much getting a 4% nerf, maybe a little bit uh, more across the board when it comes to those blue slottables. The reason they're doing this is that currently many of these slottable stars that don't require much engagement are significantly stronger than many of their more unique counterparts. Rather than introducing an arms race and injecting a power creep to the system, we've targeted uh, the outliers to draw back some of their impact to make them more in line to where they expect them kind of to be while giving a tiny bump to some of the other stars. So they're going to give a tiny uh, increase to some of the other things we have available. Uh, within that blue tree that are slottables uh, but also the ones that most everyone uses because i'm sure most of you whether you do your own cp or you look up cp from you know youtube twitch whatever the case may be most people use the majority of the ones we just dis discussed here so you know your biting aurora your deadly aim your ironclad your thermitage your mastered arms your backstabbers uh th that's a lot of the, of the cp most players use no matter what style character you have the issue is i think the community is kind of worried on the pc side that they're trying to nerf everyone's damage i'm not really sure if that four percent uh you know nerfs are really going to affect damage that much i know i've seen a lot of people saying you know if you weren't able to do a lot of damage to begin with if you're still not got your rotation down if you're not just really good at light attack weaving all this stuff this, this is really going to hurt your stats and that might be a, a a case a very rare case for some players but i think most players are rarely going to see much of a change with this and we all know that the numbers damage wise are getting extremely high right now and i don't think zoss wants everyone out there being able to get a crazy rotation down and do massive massive damage all the time so and i think they're also trying to go more with once again this hybridization options that they're making you know or making kind of available to the game and they're starting to see that you know some of these slottables that we have available to us are really strong compared to the what other counterparts they have within that certain tree so i wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see things like this going forward we may see some nerfs we may see some many we may see some buffs excuse me when it comes to any of the trees that are available to us and that may not just necessarily be within update 34 that may be in future updates as well because they're trying to make sure that everything is kind of kind of on an even playing field when it comes to cp when it comes to skills when it comes to morphs they want everything to be usable because there's so many different ways that you can build a character now that we can make more of a hybrid style character in the Elder Scrolls Online. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think this is going to be a big uh, damage decrease to players' stats? Or do you think this 4% or this roughly 4% is going to be something that most people are not going to notice? Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.